Hello, this is Resolent Bearcat, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. I release three new videos each week for this title. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified when they are released. Good morning. We are picking up with Corrine Miller here, and we're going to continue our day with some more base building. Now, we're going to get started. We've got a little balcony here, and I'm planning to put a generator here. I may take this wall out and put a little bit of an extension. Uh, another uh, floor on the other side and expand this just a little bit so that I can put some uh, also store my some gas cans out there with it but that's going to be part of what we're going to do the other part of what we're going to do is just get started on our uh, stairs going up to the roof so that I have this particular tile here that I need and what I'm going to do there so that's a part of what I'm you know part of what I'm doing as well we still have water and we can, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the empty cooking pot that I have here. Put it down, because that way we're just eating some vegetable soup and stuff. And we'll place this item over here, along with all those other pots, very good. Visually that looks a little weird, but we can deal with that. And we're gonna go out here onto this little area and we're gonna build a set of steps up to the next level and then try to get on the roof and we need to get it be but we're gonna to have to be careful when we get on the roof I don't want to fall through up there messing around so we're gonna to have to take that into account uh, oops let's see inventory let's get our walkie-talkie out right quick uh, rip secondary and what we want to do here is uh, turn it on all right <laughs> We may have been too late. 9, 10. Are we going to get anything? No, we are not. Okay, well, we'll, we'll check it out at 10 o'clock then. In the meantime, we're staying here at the base, so we're not going to be too concerned about the helicopter. And even if it just draws everybody to this area, it'll just be more things for us to kill. That's kind of the way we're going to look at it. So, quick look around. I don't see anyone, so we are going to... Just grab us two stacks of logs and get started. So if we can make two stacks of four logs each and throw them into our inventory. Our garden over there appears to be doing good. Oh, we got a bush it looks like we need to get rid of. Very near our garden. We, we need to do a lot of inventory management here around our base, but I like to go find things while we can. Especially while the power's still on, it means anything we find in freezers is still good. We need to go make sure we clean out all the freezers in the neighborhood over there. We're going to need to cook some more meat. And we're going to need to set up trapping. And um, we are going to try to get some traps set up. A couple of traps that I can ch um, check each day. Start catching some rabbits since we got some carrots out of our garden. All right, let's see here. Step one is to take these stacks of logs and unstack them. All right, step two is going to be to saw all of them up. And then let's speed up through this because we don't have any zombies around up here that can get to us. No reason to take the slow here. All right, there we go. Now then, let's build a set of stairs. We'll rotate this, and what we want to do is put that right there. Perfect. Okay, now that we have that, let's go ahead and I'm gonna just go ahead and grab all of the planks, actually. We'll carry all of them up, because we're gonna use them. I wish there was a way to put a handrail on stairs. But other than, ex except for building a wall, I don't know how I would do that. Once I pick up this board, I'm going to see if I can build a wall right there, just out of curiosity. Let's see, carpentry, fence, wooden fence. See, that does not let me put one there, and I wish it did. I'd feel a lot better about these steps because right now I can walk off those steps if I'm not careful. Oh boy. 
That's uh Okay, that's hmm. I don't trust the I don't trust that. Let's see if I can put floors in. Okay. Got that floor there. I'm going to try to put one here. I don't know if I put one under here or not. It's weird that I can see that. Fascinating. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can put a fence up. Fence this in a little bit, and I just this way I know where I'm at. What I have done on this. I'm out of wood. Okay. Uh, let's see. Carpentry. I do have. I can do wooden floor. We'll put that here. I'll keep knocking the edge off of that that I can see. That's a visual effect. That's. Oof, I don't really know what I'm looking at there. But yeah, this makes me nervous. But uh, there we go. I got it. Let's go get some more logs. I need more wood. I'm being very careful up on that roof so that I don't fall through. If I fall through from up there, I will be dead. So that's just kind of there. Can't can't afford to fall through. Let's put the nails in here. Let's put the rope in here. Why, what's taking so much weight? Got a lot of weight on me for some reason. I really don't know what I'm carrying. This got so much weight to it. I know I'm carrying some tools around, screwdrivers and things like that, but even then, I've got the hammer out. I guess that's part of what it is. There we go. Alright. An axe as a weapon is a good weapon, but it is a little bit heavy. Okay, we're doing good now. Let's see. So next up, we'll go in, get some more wood, get back up on the roof, and we got to get where we're going to put the rain barrel. We'll have to figure out how far over that is. And how it's so I may have a good enough spot. Ooh, I have some I have some friends. We are going to take them and I'm going to do since I need to get my nimble skill up, we'll do a combat stance. Right. Oh. There we go. Nothing there of any interest. Yeah, well, they didn't bring us anything interesting. They just came to visit. Migration patterns. Zombies came into the area. We don't want them in the area. All right. Let's go back here and make sure there's nobody right here in the back. I still want to clean this fence out, fence line out a little bit more. I'm not seeing anybody. Well, so we'll just go on about our business. Let's get back to base building. Zombies are only going to be dealt with if they are in my way. We'll grab two more stacks of logs. I kind of like having a big supply of logs laying here in one place. Makes it convenient. I could take the logs inside and I wouldn't even have them outside. Wouldn't even have to, I could put them over here in this little alcove have a bunch of them. All right. Heading upstairs to take care of the to get up on the roof and figure out where our where we're at. We need to figure out distances. So before I do anything else, we are going to have to figure out the distances and so that we can figure out where we need to put the rain collector. So let's get that figured out. The best way to do that that I know of. Let's go ahead and we'll unstack one stack of logs. We'll saw up the four logs and speed up through this. 
Okay. And then we will... We can't even grab the logs, it's too heavy. Alright, so here's what we're going to do now. Carpentry. We're going to take the wooden floor. I just want to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that lets me know how far it is. It's seven tiles in. So now then, one, two, and then the stairs is going to equate to either two or three. I think the stairs is going to be three. One, two, so that would be three. Would that be? Let's see. Carpentry, wooden floor. It would be one, two, three. That would be right. That would be three. Okay. So there's one, there's two, there's three. So I need to go... So I need to go two more. Once I'm up here. Okay, there we go. That would be two more. So that right there would be directly over the sink. Well, no, because the sink is in here. I need to, I need to come here. Can't tell if I put something there or not. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to put that down. Oh yeah, it looks like I have put something there. Okay. So carpentry, we'll put the we'll put the fence. Okay, let's do this right here. We're gonna put a fence here. Why is it not letting me build the fence? Move this down on the floor. See if that might be the issue as I got too much weight. That's going to be my guess is that we're dealing with that. Yes, that was the issue. I couldn't get my hammer out. <laughs> I put it away. It didn't have enough space to get it out. All right, I'm going to put that there. I know I've got them okay there. Now let's put the fences down so that I don't walk off of anything. This right here is just precaution so that I don't walk off in the wrong place. Okay. I believe. All right, so one, two, where I'm at is one past where the sink is at, which will be fine. This is just kind of on the other edge. I think I need to take these fences down and put one more row out here because this is on the, this is the inside of the sink. This would bind up a, a, put that in there and then I can put a couple, I, I think they're right here in this corner, a rain barrel right here in this corner. It really will work. So I'm going to try doing this with just the way I'm doing it. Uh, okay, we've got this. Let's see, let's go ahead, unstack the logs, and go ahead and saw them up. And other than going, I won't be coming up here very often once we put the rain barrel down. But I do believe I want to put the lar the better rain barrel, so I think I will do what I was talking about and do our... I'll put these fences up here and then we will see. So, carpentry, fence, wooden fence. Rotate this around right here. We'll put that in there. And the rain barrel is going to go right here in this corner. And I have got these, I've got it fenced in where I'm not going to fall off. There we go. And down the steps we go. So I have to go up there one more time and put a rain barrel up there and plumb it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got seven here and then it's one, two in on the side and because I'm up on here. It's two over, so the two over that I have, the rain barrel is going to be right there above all those pots. It's, on, it's right above this corner unit right here. So that that the rain barrel is going to be sitting right there, and then I can use that to plumb the sink. So, all right, we've got the construction there that we need. We've still got some. Uh, let's go out. Let's go ahead and grab these planks that are here. 
grab all them. And let's go out on the balcony out here. Where we're going to put the generator. And I want to be able to put the gas cans out there as well. Let's look at the... We'll look at this hallway and see what we have. Actually, we can, don't really need it out there. What we can do is we can put this inside. What we'll do is wooden crate. We'll just build a wooden crate right there. Now, how much... How much does the wood crate that I can build right now hold? It'll hold 40. I think later I get a uh, better quality wood and crate. But that'll be where I can put some gas cans. This will be where we put the generator. Very good. Let's see. Do we have any more boards on us? We don't. So now we can we can now build our the next piece we have. We can put our generator out there. We can put our gas cans up here. Looks like I need to smoke a cigarette. Looks like I need to refill my cigarettes. Let's see. Are the cigarettes in here? No. Cigarettes are right there. I have lots of cigarettes. And I have a whole bunch more in my inventory. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. I'm still overweight. Carrying all this stuff in this bag. Oh, I know what it is. I've got the sledgehammer. I don't need the sledgehammer anymore. Let's put it back. I'm going to put the sledgehammer in the car. That'll take a lot of weight out of the bag. Carrying the heavy sledgehammer around is not necessary. Let's go into here. I think weighs six. And even with the weight reduction in the bag, it's still carrying weight around. So, and I'm not going to be using a sledgehammer for anything else that I'm doing, so we're good on that. There we go. Look at that. Weight is now down, down where it needs to be. We're going to throw the rope in there. We never did listen to the radio today. We're just going to assume that the radio is not coming. Fairly safe assumption, in my opinion. Now, I want to build a couple of more crates inside. And we want to get to... Probably not going to get into doing much destruction today, so the water barrel is going to have to wait a little bit. Um, let's see, where are we at with our construction and skills? This is the next thing. Where are we? We want to know where we're at. We've made it to 2,000. Look at that. We've, we've, got a, we've got a couple more thousand to go, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to build some more crates. We're going to build some crates in various places so we can put stuff in it. But what we'll do is we're going to... We're going to create a four lag stuff, a stack of logs and carry this inside. We'll saw it up and we're going to create some crates in some various places. All right, first thing we're going to do. I want a place to put things here when I first come in the door. So, and I know I've got lockers down, but I got lockers down through there. I'm actually pretty good on that. But I'm going to not put them there, change my mind. But I am coming over here in this little area over in here. I want to be able to I want to be able to put some crates along this back wall here. Use that for storage. So what we'll do? Unstack the logs. We will saw them all up on fast speed. All right, and then we will. Let's see here. First things first. Let's grab a propane tank. Put that in our bag for the moment. All right, and then we want to build some wooden crates. For now, I'm just gonna put three here. And this will be used to store things here that we need. Some more storage, very good. And then I'm gonna grab that propane tank. Set it right there. I think it's 10, I can put a bunch of them, I can put a bunch of propane tanks in here. Or per crate. All right, now then, next up is, let's see. We'll go upstairs where I've got some of the other crates. I've still got three planks. Oh wow, 
and only three planks, that would be enough for one wooden crate. Yeah, that's what I need for one wooden crate. So I need to grab another log. No, let's, I might just be able to do it with one log. Let's see. The what? Let's see. We got 17 gas cans at five each. If we assume that we're going to get more gas cans, it would be 20 gas cans. It's going to be a lot. All right. Twenty gas cans at five each would be one hundred. We would actually need three crates to do that upstairs. So that's really what we what I want to do. I've already got one crate built, so I just need one more log. So let's go get one more log, and we'll take that log up, build two more crates upstairs, and then we'll put all of our gas cans. We'll have a place to put all of the gas cans. And what I'm going to do is grab one log. That will be three planks. There we go. Now, I can't put this is a little nice little corner here where this generator is. Let's I'll take the generator. Oh, I'm going to be overweight. <laughs> Oh, 40 of uh, 11. I'm getting drowsy. I'm hungry. Uncomfortable. Carrying all that weight around would be uncomfortable. Oh, my back. So we're making, uh, we'll get all this stuff done. Let's see what we have here. Oh, nope. We don't want to go up on the roof. We want to go over here in this corner. And first things we'll do is take the generator outside and place it down. There we go. There's my generator. And generator info is 100% with no fuel. We will fix the fuel issue here in just a minute. We are going to go to the carpentry and we're going to build a crate right here. I intend to put another crate right there. But first, we're going to have to saw up the logs. I should have sawed the log up first. All right, and then we'll do the one more wooden crate here. We'll stack them up there. All right, very good. We have finished that little project. Now we'll go get some gas cans and bring them upstairs. I am curious. I don't know how many. But let's check on their skills again. 2394. So yeah, the building things actually does pretty good on your skill points. But we still need 2,000 points. We will work on getting that on the tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's project is to get our rain barrel built. So we're kind of a mix of things today, but uh, we are starting to put a few more things away here. But what I'm going to do here is now, I'll grab as many of these gas cans as I can. I'm not taking them all upstairs, but I'm going to take a few of them upstairs. I'm going to leave some of them down here. We'll build a, some crates down here and put some gas cans down here because they, uh, I can bring cars in. I'll need to be able to fuel cars too, potentially. But right now, we don't want them in the floor. So let's pick up as many as I can. That's going to be all I can pick up. But we will go carry these gas cans upstairs. We are starting to clean up a little bit. Not just bring things in and dump it off, but have a place to put it and put things away. We will organize our cabinets and various things. That'll be something on the next day that we have our helicopter. We will be doing a lot of organization. I'm just doing a little bit now because we've got moderate exercise already and we want to get this stuff in here so we put the gas cans across here all right let's see how we're doing here that's 40 gas cans so it'll hold 40 gas cans very good or it'll hold 40 weight eight gas cans per 
I can get all but one of them in here, and then I'll just leave one of them downstairs. And I'll have two full things up here. By that may should take the other one up there and fill the I need to fill the generator. We will do that as well. We'll grab it. Go ahead and get the generator ready to go. Alright, here we go. Okay, let's see, and then that, we'll just leave that one sitting there for now, since I'm at the maximum weight. Yeah, I could have got some in that bag, that would have been good, but that's okay, we need a guest can downstairs anyway, I don't want to take them all upstairs. We're going to fill up the generator, put all the different things in, and see what we have. We're, we need to do a little bit of cooking, I think, tonight, maybe not tonight or in the morning, I think we could do it tonight, though, I don't believe we have a lot of cooking options at the moment so let's see what we have here stick our nose outside we are going to add fuel we're going to add all it'll hold there's one there's two there's three are you serious there's four there's five I think it's just stuck in the animation. Interesting. We're going to connect the generator. All right, generator info. 100% fuel. It is ready to go. All right. So now then we come here to our second inventory. We've got the gas cans here. Drop these things off, and then we've got an empty gas can of things we'll do back downstairs. And we'll take care of things. All right. That is the base building exercise for today, and a little bit of cleanup and or storage organization while we were at it. So we're starting to get this base ready to go. Uh, I don't know how much fuel is still in this. It didn't take the... Uh, but I definitely want to go put this in the... Uh, Oh, the thing says it's full. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, then we don't want to carry that with us. Let's throw this. So it took one gas can to fill up the generator. One full gas can. Okay, awesome. There we go. We've got it all taken care of. So let's grab us something to eat and get in bed. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available, and check out the links shown here for more gameplay. Take care.